Hey folks, it's Red Slash, and welcome to this game. <laughs> uh, it's called Finding Teddy. It's kind of a point and click game, I heard, and apparently there's a story behind this. And oh man, I can't wait to see what kind of story is behind this, because it looks interesting just by the look of it. And. Yeah, so let's jump into the game. New game. Never played this before, so it's gonna be a blind review or something. Oh, hello. Whoa. What the hell? Okay, already now. That's. Creepy. <laughs> there was a giant spidery bear. <laughs> Hold on. There was a giant spider leg that just came out of my closet and stole my teddy. I don't know where that came from, and it was kind of creepy, but that's how it is. So let's check our surroundings. I'm clicking possibly everywhere possible. Okay, well, it, I guess I guess the only way to go was be to that wardrobe or closet, whatever you call that. Finding Teddy. Huh. Descending from heavens! Are we dead? Is that looks kind of dead ish. You have unlocked a new picture. I wonder what kind of picture I have unlocked. So I can either go there, left, or right. Hmm, what is this? Are these my items? No more music! No, oh, I just burped at the same time I was saying that. I wonder what this means. Maybe no sound effect. Oh, whatever. So we're gonna start with the left. The hand which I'm not used to. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you? Hello. Uh, oh! Well, that's a way to start! Now, is it? Blobbed. Yeah. Thanks for the achievement. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so left is a no go. Let's go to right instead. Righty, righty, righty. What do we have on the right? Hello. What is this? It's a golden apple or something. Or some sort of light. Is it now? Check your surroundings. You check, check, check that or that. That, no? Can I check the thing? Can the menu pop up there? Yes. Mm, guess I can't. Alright. Maybe it wasn't an item that I should use. Hello, you? What are you? Can I approach? Can I... Whoa. Oh, I can get my character. Do you guys want an apple? Or something? I wonder what it is. I really want to go to the gap right there or maybe well since I can't do anything to them maybe the slimy goopy goopy wants it that sounds logical because he seemed like wanting to eat things so let's see oh well <laughs> conveniently pointed out and I'll click this guy here's an apple Oh, hmm, delicious. You may pass, little girl. Thank you. 
Can I talk to you again? No? Oh, you will not eat me again. Not what, like you did just a minute ago. Okay. What's in there? This looks like a passage. Hmm, well, this certainly sets up the mood in this area. It makes a noise when I click those. Wonder if right there I clicked out of the window for a sh short second there. Uh, okay, maybe left. <gasps> Wait, I see things up there. Hello. Hello. Why are you crying? What? What? Oh, okay. J yeah, just smash me off. Monstered. Monstered? That's an achievement. Monstered. Okay, great. Hmm. This, this sets up the mood very nicely. So what's up there? Like these things. I can't really put my finger on what they are. They look like music notes or something. Maybe this will be important somehow. Who knows? Now what's in there? Hello? Is that the the song that is like there? Alright. I don't know. That looks like it, maybe. I can't possibly figure out music like this. I mean I can read music, but like the notes in particular it's not really correct or <laughs> or anything so I can't really figure this one out oh maybe down here there was something hold on hold on go back down here yes he's good down hello caca 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 and I have a feather no it's not important okay Let's go right on the left. A locked door. And there's again those symbols right there. If I wait a little <laughs> short time, it points me out things. So if I go there, I can't. So that means I need a key somehow. Let's go right there. Back. Because I suppose. I suppose that the frogs are key. This surely tells me something. I can't possibly make out what, though. Why does it make a noise when I click in this one? Oh, you're... You're singing as much. So these are music notes. <laughs> Am I supposed to remember them? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. So what's in there? Enter the tree. Twig. Seems to be nothing here. All right, moving on. Uh, 
A feather! Up there! I knew I should have used my twig! Unfortunately, I couldn't pick it up. So maybe this feather will come in handy later. There's the bee queen! Huh, okay, let me guess. If I click the queen, she's gonna... She's gonna do something, right? I just... Well, booyah, let's go. Let me pick up that flower. Oh no! Oh no, I failed to pick the flower. And oh jeez, okay! Whoa, that's pretty brutal. Can I talk to the queen instead? No, you're just gonna pick up the flower like an idiot. Why? Why? What do you, why? Of all things, why did you pick up the flower once again? Oh well, I'm not gonna question this little girl's little girl's intuition in life. Okay. So this frog. What am I supposed to do with these notes? What am I supposed to go down here? Because there's a path down here. Hmm. Okay, so oh, it makes a noise again when I click. I don't know why it does so, but okay. And now it doesn't make a noise anymore. Huh. What is this? Can I interact with the water? No, I can't. <coughs> I can't. Oh well. So the frog may have something to do with those frogs. Uh, Let's go quick! Run, little girl! I don't know your name, but you you look cute. Little girl, let's go to adventure! Yes! Okay. Okay, so... Yay! I made it! I made a thingy! Ah... So there are some sort of using note thingy to learn. I managed to cross the bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Oh. Need to pronounce my R's. Now, what is this? Do I need to do something? Wait a minute. And no, because there, I, I there, there, there's a hole right there. I can close through the hole. Can, can I not? Can I touch the hole? I want to see what's in the hole. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can you move? What do you have? Use that here. No? I wonder what the bottle is for anyway. Maybe there's something I need. Huh. Wonderful. Let's go see if I have something to do with this little bottle of mine. Oh! Well, that kind of makes sense. I guess. I mean, that's what I thought of doing somehow before. But I never thought that it would work in some way because having water so far. Oh, maybe I go. I can go water the plant for the the queen. 
the bee queen. Hello, queen. I have some water for that flower. Let me water the flower. Swish. It is lovely. I... What the hell was that? What the hell was that extendable sting? That was creepy. I'm gonna question it though. So I have a saw. I have a saw. The, the saw? I can cut that. Yay. I have a twig. What is this going to be doing? Maybe I can go poke the hole with that twig. Okay. Take the twig. Poke in the hole. Hello. Peek, peek. Hey, it's a fly with a dapper hat. Bzz. Is it my friend? I have a friend now. It's a fly. Yay! I have friendly fly with me now! Yahoo! I'm so happy. Let's go on an adventure, Mr. Fly! Yay! Dee -dee 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 -dee. I love the little pitter pattern that she does. It's so cute. Oh, I can click the fly. Huh? Go get that. Yes. Yes, it works. Hooray. I got a feather. Let's go do something with that feather. I have one new item in my inventory. Great. Thank you, Steam. <laughs> I think it's a training card. <laughs> Get the feather! It's yours. Oh. So I need to reproduce the song he does. I see the I saw the notes that I was producing, so maybe. Uh, thanks for booting up the, the inventory at the same time. This guy. Alright guys, uh, welcome to the post-commentary of this video, because unfortunately I c the, the video didn't want to uh, record the audio for some reason, the video editing. Uh, so basically what I did here is uh, sing the song to this monster over here, and he gave me the key. And uh, you know, then now we received the, the song's notes for this, and so I proceed on into walking toward a uh, the locked door any minute now still the song this song has been sing by this bird right here so here's the locked door and obviously I open my inventory by clicking myself and I click on the key by putting the key inside the hole and opened is the path to beyond. Now, so sometimes the lowest screen is taking forever, so I took the time to edit out uh, some of, some of the loading time that you <laughs> you you would have to injure. So on on our way forward, we talk about about this little weed or potato thingy. Uh, it will be relevant for some stuff later. 
uh, which will be actually very, <laughs> very difficult for me to figure out for quite a while. As we proceed on forward, we see this ant over there jumping back and forth. Uh, for some reason I didn't know anything of what it could mean or what it could do for a moment, but I, as I worked my, my brain out to figure out what to do with this ant, uh, it will be relevant later. This cat is also uh, relevant, uh, related to the ant that we just passed. Uh, we'll get to it back and uh, proceeding next here we see a loint collot or some sort, a uh, white scarf or something. And uh, as I see I try to put it on but it doesn't seem like being clothes made off for me, unfortunately. Uh, I make my way over here to the snake which blocks our path to the next area so as we can see I just got gobbled up entirely by this sea snake so it's a no way go from that on point uh, going downstairs we see this mole he is uh, singing uh, tree notes this is a uh, and you need to remember the inputs of how he sings uh, unfortunately I try to uh, on some items if I, if he had needed some item or anything but uh, by the time that I edited it out I remember the input that I need to do and for that I proceed downward here and to the left and to this small over here that is sleeping and without any doubt I put out my music sheet and uh, input the, the notes in so that this mole is hearing it and so he wakes up and start digging the hole in front of him and steps aside. So now we got revealed three more notes. By the way, uh, ju <laughs> just a quick uh, fun fact uh, as I am recording this and editing this, uh, I finished a game already so I already know uh, the humiliating uh, stuff stupid thing that I forgot and didn't realize in the first place but anyway that that's that's just a side note uh, that uh, that is uh, going to sp to spoil if I reveal a little bit too much so anyway uh, I, I went to the hole over there uh, besides going to the spider previously and being turned into a yarn uh, going back to the hole that I unraveled by digging the hole with the mole uh, there's this stuff of hair that I'm being perplexed about that I don't know what 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 could have been done about it? I thought I could have torn it off from the wall, but apparently I, I didn't think of maybe using uh, one of my sidekicks, you know. And then I proceeded forward to the hole, and unfortunately, you'll end up in a black screen where you will be automatically ported back because it's too dark. So instead, going up there to this path, we see this vulture. He is grayed out like the other unhappy uh, citizens of this area, of this land, rather. Uh, so proceeding to the next screen, we see this alligator waiting for us on the I platform. I try to cross it, obviously, by basic instant, and I get jumped off really brutally. Uh, so by thinking out loud, I think oh, maybe the potato will help me in somehow acting like a dummy. And so I did and it seemed to have worked, but uh, even though trying it a second time, it, it didn't seem to have triggered the dummy and, and so on failure. And so I tried the lung cloth in order for it to resemble a little bit like a human being and it still didn't work. So for a long time I tried to search and uh, upon discovery I used a jar on this end and I put it in my bottle. It's pretty cruel to nature but <laughs> that's, how the, that's how it works. Sometimes natures can be cruel, you know, so I make my way back to the spider over there by using my captured ant. And so the ant is on the web and is being picked up and turned into a ball of yarn and so by basic instinct I obviously think twice 
before, before I say like, oh, what can I do with this yarn? And obviously I think, oh, cats like yarns. And so I go to the cat, and I'm gonna use the yarn over here on the cat. So the cat notices the yarn. It's gonna be like, hmm, strange, I love the yarn. I'm gonna pet it over there, uh, whatever, human, I'm gonna join you in your quest. And so we have our second sidekick, the cat. He's gonna follow our journey. Making our way back down here, I try using the fly this time on this tuft of hair. And uh, so uh, now I think uh, maybe it could be used for the dummy. So I go back to the pond and use the hair on the thing. And so the alligator finally gets the, the bite out of it. And so. I can cross the pond easily and safely. I'm going on to the next path over here, which leads to some sort of cemetery or some kind. Now I clicked off, off of the window and <laughs> rescaled it because it was a little bit awkward. Uh, there was this uh, this plant over here that the fly can pull off by on its own but I'll, I'll come back to it after discovering the next zone here uh, over here there's a grave with a note and so it will be very important later uh, in order to uh, figure out something and acquire an, a certain item so I use the cat and the fly over here on the plant and it gets me some sort of chicken or meat so obviously I Obviously I think, ah, maybe out of the grave there will be a zombie that will pop up if I put this chicken or butt of meat over here, but apparently not. So going to this vulture, because obviously vultures are like eating carcasses and meat, so the vulture eats the chicken or whatever it is. <laughs> and so he starts singing and I try to remember what he his pattern says. It's basically like doo, doo, dee, doo, doo, or something like that and so I go to the grave and input the the song that the bird sang to me and thus it it activates the puzzle solving stuff and there is obviously what I expected a zombie hand that handed me over something but it was a lantern for some reason. And you now zombies like having light in their tomb. Oh well, fast forwarding all this stuff back to the hole down here. Not not the spider radical. Go down the hole. There we go. Going over there. Since it's pitch black, using the lantern reveals the room. And so there's a black, a red, not black gem, a red gem, sorry. <laughs> trying to speak over things up and trying to think, but for, unfortunately I'm improvising on stuff. So with the red gem in hand, I think to myself, huh, the snake had a blue gem on it and an empty slot. So maybe the snake could use this uh, red gem. And so that's what I think to do and put the red gem on the snake presenting it and making our way to the next area the third part of this game and by unlocking this picture that's where I called the quit because I have been recording for like close to two hours for this one and yeah that, that's basically what it is and uh, on the next part, you will see me realize what the notes are actually. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for bearing this unfortunate uh, event of uh, record uh, of recording audio fail and this beautiful music in the background. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. That will help tremendously. And I'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs> I'm being silly.